here we introduce the scalar product of two vectors, also known as the dot product. Later we'll introduce the vector product of two vectors, also known as the cross product. Let's start with an example. Work is a scalar. Work is proportional to the force applied, a vector. It's also proportional to the displacement over which it's applied, also a vector. But work is also proportional to the cos of the angle between force and displacement. If force F is applied over displacement dS with angle theta between them, then dW equals F dS cos theta. We're using differential notation here because, in general, force varies with displacement. This application to work is one reason why we define the scalar product of two vectors like this. A dot B is defined as AB cos theta, where theta is the angle between A and B. It's called the scalar product because, as you can see, the right-hand side is a scalar. It's also called the dot product because the dot between A and B signifies this scalar product. So, that's the definition, and you need to learn it. A dot B equals AB cos theta. Now we can write the equation for work more simply. DW equals F dot DS. Here's a simple example. A vector dot itself. A dot A equals A times A times cos zero, which is A squared. So, the scalar product of a vector with itself is the square of its magnitude. Another simple case. If A and B are at right angles, A dot B equals AB cos 90 degrees. And cos 90 degrees is zero. We should also note that A dot B is equal to B dot A. This is not trivial. When we come to look at the vector product, we see that the order there is important. We can apply these observations immediately to unit vectors. Their magnitude is 1, remember. So, i dot i equals 1, and similarly, j dot j equals k dot k equals 1. On the other hand, i dot j is 0, and j dot k and k dot i are 0. In many cases, this will make vector algebra easier for us. Take the two vectors, a equals a sub x i plus a sub y j plus a sub z k, and similar expression for b. Now we can write their scalar product in two different ways. From the definition, we have a dot b equals a b cos theta. But if we expand them in terms of their components, now only the i dot i, j dot j, and k dot k terms contribute. So a dot b equals ax bx plus ay by plus az bz. Let's do some questions to get used to using them and to learn a neat trick in geometry. <laughs> 